bonus with face, pat, and tiz. I'm going to give y'all some shit to make you think. The first one this year, I mean, this week, excuse me, this year. If Marilyn Monroe, if Marilyn Monroe was still alive, she will be the same age as Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. We only see her, we only see her and adore her at her young age because all you see is young pictures because she died young. If she never died, she'd be the same age as Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. If she never died and she actually lived, she would be basically like what this Taylor ended up, ended up with in her later years. Like that legend that, you know, we know. But yeah, that would be my thought. Or she would end up being like one of them, uh, like the tiger lady from New York who got way too much plastic surgery. Mm-hmm. But yeah. If I give me another white actor, she'll be another bar. Yeah, six out, <laughs> same age for sure. Now, second one, second shit to make you think. Now I heard they did a little study on this. I forgot what I was watching. It was someone was on. It was on YouTube. Don't know exactly what channel, so I can't reference it. But this is the basic premise: No man has a- ever really seen an actual dinosaur to say what it looks like. Right. Yet. We have many pictures and models of dinosaurs, dinosaurs and their facial features. Correct. We have imagined what they look like based on skeletons. Right. But if we use that same knowledge on regular animals, no animal that we have right now would look the way they actually do if we did what we did with dinosaurs. So my thing is, how do dinosaurs act, did excuse me actually look? Um, we don't know how dinosaurs actually look, just like we don't know what most animals that look like. we were here look like, to be honest. It's all based off, like, uh, speculative evidence. So, like, they just use the evidence of, like, its closest relatives that we can find today and then use those models to, and based on what those, their skeletons actually look like when they put them together, they kind of combine those two things and they make a guess, which is why all of the images look different. You can have a raptor that has no feathers, then one that's fully feathered, then one that has just a feather. Mm-hmm. And they all technically could be correct as long as the actual, it, you'll notice though that always the, an, the anatomy, the basic structure of the animal is always the same. It's just like those exactly. colors and shit and, and like scale features and shit like that. So I, I think it's like, yeah, no, we don't know what none of that shit look like though. Like even a mammoth, like we know it's related to the elephant because they're, we can look at a dead elephant now and see a skeleton and they see it resemble, but we still don't know that it actually looked like what we model them for that because we didn't see. Just imagine the the internal racism between raptors. If you had some of them that had feathers and some of them that didn't, you know, you you could just tell. Like you could just imagine the caste system they would have. Like um, look at all my feathers, nigga. People don't really <laughs> look at all my feathers. The way humans act is completely natural which is why we got to stop fighting against it and just use it to our advantage. It's like, all, there's always going to be a rank and file system in the animal kingdom. Like, like the reason oh, you yeah. the term peacocking is because literally mating is determined on who got the coolest feathers or who can do the dance, the coolest to make the female, like, choose them. So, like, it's like when the, the evolution and the continuance of your species depends on you being the coolest, like, Oh, yeah. It ain't even racism. It's just like, nigga, we got to get this bloodline going, champ. Sorry. I got feathers. Come on. I got feathers. Come on. <laughs> Here's what it is, man. And if you want to die the motherfuckers, then you got to find that one <laughs> straggling <laughs> raptor lady that just couldn't catch one of the, 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 the main dudes with the feathers and just she just kind of over there like, well, 
Hey. Come back to history from the partners. I think. What up? Yeah. Let me let like me six foot chickens walking around and shit. Let me expound on Teaser's point as far as she said. A lot of shit we do is just regular human nature, just part of nature, and we need to stop fighting against it. Okay. Now we see how humans intervene on animal shit sometimes. I'll say like you got a what's the call? Like not a national park, but a national observatory, some shit like that. We got all the different animals and shit. And they have one sect, <laughs> excuse me, you may have one sect of animals. 